Alrighty, so I was originally going to make this video just one topic, but I figured out that I have another topic to share with you, and that would be this baby right here. Um, so basically this is just going to be a computer update video. I'm just going to completely go down and update all the in, uh, all the computers, which these three, there aren't really anything going on with, but I'll cover those anyway. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. The first thing I want to cover is the Dell Inspiron 14Z, as you can see here. Um, a, eh, let's, I want to say the beginning or the middle of January, I installed Windows 8 on this laptop, and uh, all I can say is that I didn't really like it. I mean, it was okay. Uh, it was definitely better than I thought it was going to be, but I missed Windows 7, and mainly because... I know it sounds stupid, but there's no arrow in Windows 8, and it just looks like crap. And I never used the Metro UI, so it doesn't, you know, it's kind of redundant. Uh, Windows 8 was start 8. It's basically like Windows 7 with a few upgrades that look shittier, and I apologize for the sirens outside if you guys can hear those. I bet you can. Yes. Uh, anyway, so basically a couple of days ago, I reinstalled the good old Windows 7 on this laptop. And that's how it's going to stay, just like every other computer around here. The only computer that's not running Windows 7 in this house is the D600, which is running Windows XP. Uh, yeah. So, uh, also, today is March 12th. I bought this laptop March 10th, 2012. So that means that as of two days ago, I've had this laptop for one year. And I'm ready to go ahead and give my final opinion on it. Over the course of the year, the laptop has been really good to me. Um, except for one small problem, but I think that was my fault. Um, the LCD bezel broke. Now, I have a whole video on this topic, but basically what happened for people who haven't seen that video was I reformatted the thing and the webcam wasn't working, which I thought was weird. I called Dell Tech Support. They told me that I could check the video cable for the webcam uh, and see if anything got disconnected for whatever stupid reason. And I was like, well, that's really, really unlikely that that would have happened because I do not abuse this laptop. Uh, but anyway, I did it anyway, and I pulled the bezel off. And nope, nothing wrong under there. So I put it back on, and both of the corners of the display, like, you know, as in right here, would not stay on anymore. They would just flop, you know, all over the place. They would not become, you know, latched to the the uh, actual display. So, I sent that in for repair under warranty, which was cool, and they gave me a new bezel. And as you can see, I have a new bezel on here. It's kind of the same problem though. The freaking thing still wouldn't stay on. I mean, it was better than it was, but it wasn't fully on there. So I had to end up super gluing it a little bit on there, just a couple of dots on each side, and now it's perfectly fine. As you can see, there used to be a big gap right in the middle there that used to go up. I uh, used to start about there and then just go down to the bottom, but the problem has been solved now, and ever since I fixed that, the laptop has never had any problems. Uh, about six months ago, though, I want to say, around six months ago, it was definitely last summer, I had my water bottle next to my laptop with the cap off. And I swung around to go on the laptop, and bam, I knocked it off with my arm, and bam, half a bottle, er, well, my canteen is 27 ounces, so I want to say at least 10 ounces of water went into this thing. Well, not 10 ounces, maybe just a few, but, you know, a good amount, maybe like a glass full, so like a cup of water went into the keyboard, and it just, boom, just went in, and so, that was six months ago. This laptop was fine. Nothing happened to it. I turned it off. I flipped it upside down on my bed. Got a towel. I just let it sit there for a while. And then I opened up the keyboard and everything. And it wasn't even wet in there. I was like, wow, look at that. So I don't even know how this happened. I dumped a really good amount of water in there. I don't know how it didn't die. But nothing got corroded. Nothing was messed up. And I was just like, holy crap, what a miracle. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, ever since then... Nothing has happened to it. Uh, it's just been a really good laptop. I use this on the go. I use that for travel uh, when I go to my other house or, you know, vacations, field trips. Well, not really field trips, but, you know, vacations and stuff. So I take this laptop pretty much everywhere I go. 
uh, except school because my school is so old fashioned that nobody has a laptop. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. Other final opinion, it's a really good laptop for the money. For five hundred dollars, you can't really beat it. And you know, it's built well for the most part. Like I said, for the most part, like ninety-five percent of it is built well. Um, it's a really good Inspiron laptop. So that's all I have to say about the Dell Inspiron 14Z. Um, and yeah, I've had this thing for a, a whole year now. So yeah. Anyway, second update I want to get to is my main rig, my custom built, as you can see here. Ton of videos on this. Sorry, it's kind of dark. It's indeed dark outside. So yeah. Now, I think two videos back, I mentioned that I did overclock this system to 3.6 gigahertz. The thing is, is it never ran at 3.6 gigahertz. If you go into it, well, I have real temp over here, but look, 3400, and it, is, it has said that the entire time. By the way, look at those temps. That's pretty good. Uh, that's Those aren't, I mean... I usually get in the mid 30s for idle, but I've been doing stuff, so that's why it's at 40. And as you can see, core 3 is like really weird. Like it jumps up and then it jumps down, and it's the core 3 seems to be hotter than all the other cores. That one's pretty close, so eh, not really. Whatever. Anyway, bottom line is I really like my temps, but that's not the point. As you can see here, um, I am running at 3.4 gigahertz. It was originally 3. So, that's still a big upgrade. Now the thing is, is that over here and in the system properties it would say 3.6. But in programs like this, it would say 3.4. Uh, so, basically to keep everything consistent, I just put the multiplier down to 34. Now if you're asking why I didn't just, you know, tweak it, I did. I tried everything I possibly could. I'm not experienced in overclocking. This is a non-K CPU, uh, so it's limited clock, so or limited overclock anyway. And uh, yeah, I guess 3.4 is the maximum I can go with this thing. So I thought it was 400 megahertz over the turbo speed, but you know, whatever. I don't think I would notice a 200 megahertz increase. So yeah, 3.4 gigahertz is enough. So this is a 3.4 gigahertz i5 machine. And that's about it. Um, yeah, the water cooler has been going fine. Uh, I mean, you know, not much more I can say about that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, water cooler. Pretty sweet. Uh, like I said, I like those temps. Uh, so yeah, that's really all I have to say about the custom build is that my overclock, uh, I couldn't get my overclock to work. I, to believe me, I messed with everything. I messed with the voltages, I messed with uh, I overclocked my RAM too. My RAM is now running at 1800 megahertz instead of 1600, so I have to update that on my website. But yeah. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about the custom built. Um, yeah, had the laptop for a year. Uh, the custom build is overclocked to 3.4 instead of 3.6 because I cannot run it, get it to run at 3.6. And these laptops or desktops or whatever you want to call them, nothing has changed. I put the Radio X600 in there, as you know, from a couple of videos back. E6400, eh, I use it every now and then, but not very much. Uh, so it just sits there 95% of the time. And the D600 is down there in that crack. No pun intended. But yeah, it's down there, and I don't use it at all. I just have it down there just because I'm never selling it because of nostalgia. So yeah. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. This is bound to be a very huge video file. Got to get rendering. Uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.